This is an SU TV News Update, brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. For almost two years, the NDSU Memorial Union has been without surveillance cameras. That is about to change as the Memorial Union administration are working to install dozens of cameras in the building by the end of the summer. The associate director of the Memorial Union, Paul Rastad, told the Spectrum they anticipate the project costing up to $75,000. The old system went down 18 months ago because the recording equip equipment failed. The new system will be monitored 24-7 by the university police. Have you ever found yourself confused at income tax time? At the deadline of protest, NDSU is offering a tax assistance program. Every Monday night from 6 to 9, students and community members head for the basement of library to seek assistance with their income taxes. The Wider Tax Assistance Software Program has been around for 13 years and is led by a majority of students volunteers. One NDSU professor plays a key role in coordinating this beneficial opportunity. Like tonight, I'm running around, pulling my hair out, kind of nervous, but at the end of the day, I'm going to go, ah, that was fun. If you're willing to get your taxes done by a student and it's a great opportunity to get them done early, um, uh, it's a great opportunity to get a better understanding of why your taxes are the way they are and to do them correctly. The number of income tax return getting down can range anywhere from 40 to 75 a night. The assistant program will return until March 31st. One of the largest property management companies in the area is facing a run for death lawsuit. 31-year-old James Fadden died in a fire in Ashbury apartment on January 29th of smoke in inhalation. His parents are alleging the Goldmark property management was aware patterns of alarm were malfunctioning and removed the faculty smoke detectors, but never replaced or repaired them. The lawsuit asked at least $100,000 for medical and cremation ex expenses and emotional distress. Shabbat Mohammed has had a rough start to his rookie season and has not seen much playing time. With all the injuries to keep players for the Wolves, he would play a season-high 20 minutes off the bench while helping the Wolves get a win over the Phoenix Suns. Maham scored a career-high 20 points and grabbed a few key rebounds down the strand as the Timberwolves beat the Suns 110 and 101. Kevin Love would finish the game with 33 points and one assist shy of triple-double. The Wolves are now five and a half games behind the Suns for the eighth seed in the playoffs. And now let's take a look at the weather, brought to you by Macbeth. It seems on Thursday we get mostly sunny and the low degree would be 13. On Friday we get partly sunny and the high degree would be 5 and the low would be 17. And on Saturday we get very cold and the low degree would be 19. On Sunday we get partly sunny and the low degree would be 14. On Monday we get partly sunny and the high degree would be 4. And on Tuesday we get partly partly sunny as well, the low degree would be 9. This has been an NDSU TV news update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. This is an SU TV news update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore.